The aftermath of the worst mass massacre in Czech history weighs heavily on the people in Prague today. The body of the 14th victim was just removed this morning. People leave candles and flowers at a makeshift shrine at a university building to honor the lives lost. The audience, largely young students, mulls over the horror. Lucy, a witness, describes her terror at the law faculty, which was only meters away from the incident. Simon's physician acquaintance recalls the gruesome scene emphasizing the danger to their own faculty. The gunman, a 24-year-old history student, fired rounds from the arts faculty roof. The mayhem is captured on video, with demands to target him rather than the students. The lack of information about the shooter and his motivations is concerning. He had murdered his father that morning and is suspected of being involved in a recent forest murder. The victims are remembered at the shrine, not the shooter. Natalie provides her support expressing the group's anguish and concern. The police, who were aware of the armed individual, justified their actions but acknowledged that they could be improved. The horrible occurrence has broken everyone's sense of security. Despite their unwillingness to impose additional limits, students like Natalie see the need for increased university security. A guide reassures tourists as Prague begins its Christmas season, but for many, the city no longer feels as safe as it once did.